everybody, it's Coach Devin, and today we are going to be doing a video on handstands. I'm gonna be sharing with you some drills you guys can do at home to work on your handstands, and sharing with you some stuff that you guys need to always remember about your handstands. Before we get started, please go make sure it's all right with your parents that you're working gymnastics at home, and if they say yes, make sure that the area you decide to practice in is a safe area. Today I'm gonna to be working outside in my garage, and I have one of these like fancy mats, so if you have one of those, you could totally use it. If you decide to work inside, make sure that there are no wires crossing over the floor or any hard furniture with like sharp edges that you might fall into. Let's get started. Can you guess what we're about to do? That's right, we're gonna do our warm up. And I'm gonna be reading off the warm up right over here and then I'll be showing examples of what you're doing right over there. So first what I want you guys to do are at least more than 10 donkey kicks. So anything more than 10 is awesome. Where you are really trying to get your hips over your shoulders, you're keeping your hands forward and you're looking at your hands as you do this exercise. Now I want you guys to do anything more than 10 shotguns, okay? So you're just doing shotguns where you're tucking in your knees and you're staying nice and hollow in your tummy. And if you wanna challenge yourself, go ahead and lower a little bit more slowly. And finally, now you guys are gonna do hollow body rocks. Again, anything more than 10 is great. So hollow body rocks with your hands down by your side, or if you wanna challenge yourself, you guys can put your hands up by your ears. Good job. To get started with stretching make sure you do your straddle stretch reach to each side in the middle for probably about 10 seconds and now butterfly I think I'm gonna go to San Francisco and smell your feet and wrist stretch go ahead and rock back and forth about 10 times each direction go in a circle when your hands are out to the side hands towards your knees rock back and forth and wrestle roller coaster good job and seal stretch, look to each direction, about 10 seconds, look up for about 10 seconds, touch your head if you can, which I cannot, <laughs> and cat stretch, and go ahead and put one foot in front, we're going to do our splits, straighten that leg, put your nose to your knee, and slide down, try to put your arms up if you can, and now other side, same thing, Straighten that leg, hold for about 10 seconds, and splits. And again, arms up. And then you're gonna bridge up and straight leg kick over. If you cannot kick over, just come down and rock and roll. So the first drill that you guys are gonna do to work your handstand is a static shape drill. And remember, static means that we're staying still. So this drill, we're just gonna be standing still. And these drills are a really, really great way to work on your skills without actually having to be able to do them and just work the shapes in them. So all you're gonna need for this drill is something flat. So I have a notebook. You guys can use a piece of paper or a piece of cardboard. Anything will do really, just as long as it looks like this. Um, and so what you're gonna do is you're gonna stand flat on your feet. You're gonna start by squeezing your booty and squeezing your tummy. And then make sure you're putting your hands on that surface nice and flat, squeezing nice and tight, shoulders by your ears, nice and tight, hollow. Notice that if I flipped myself upside down, I would be doing a handstand. You guys can also do this drill laying down, nice and flat on your surface. Same thing, look up at those hands, point those toes and squeeze. So you guys might hear me refer to your handstand like a stack of pancakes because when you have a stack of pancakes, you have each pancake stacked perfectly on top of one another. And nobody wants to eat a crooked stack of pancakes because then your pancakes are gonna be falling on the floor and on the table and nobody wants that. But in a handstand, it's kind of the same thing. First you have your first pancake, which is your hands, and then you have your shoulders, and then you have like your tummy area, and then your butt, and then your knees, and then your feet. And all of them are stacked on top of one another. What you don't want is you have your hands, and then you have your, your shoulders, and then your butt, and then your legs. You don't wanna have a handstand that looks like that. You wanna have your handstand perfectly stacked. So this drill is gonna help you make your handstand look like a stack of pancakes. So for this drill, I use the leg or the arm of my couch, and all you're trying to do here is stay stacked. So you're trying to get your shoulders over your hands, and then your hips over your shoulders, and you're trying to, of course, squeeze your tummy, and hold a nice shape. Notice how I'm in line, and there is a straight line going from my hips to my hands. 
Once you've mastered that previous drill, you're gonna actually try sticking one leg up in the air, and then if you can, try to stick both legs in the air. I was pointing at my tummy so you guys could see, I was telling myself to stay hollow, because this can be a challenging drill to stay hollow in. So you're gonna get in the same position, and then you're just gonna lift one leg up in the air. Notice how I'm really trying to squeeze my tummy and squeeze my arms, but this can be a challenging drill. Then, when you're ready, pull both legs up, and I forward rolled out of it, and then I started dancing. So when you guys are ready to start working on kicking up to your handstand, I want you guys to start by doing some seesaws. Notice that from my fingertips all the way to my back heel is a nice straight line. And I plan on maintaining that straight line all the way down and all the way back up again. When you do this, make sure you're not lowering your chest or dropping your chest, but you're maintaining that straight line and keeping your chest within that line. After you've done a few of these seesaw drills, you guys are gonna move on to L handstands or baby handstands. And this is almost like that one of that, fir that first drill we did with the couch, but without the couch. And again, you're just trying to maintain that straight line all the way up and make sure you're staying hollow and looking at your hands and starting and finishing in a lunge. So when you guys are ready to start kicking up to a handstand, I recommend using a wall first. So that way you can spend the time working on your handstand without worrying about falling to a bridge or falling on your back. And you can focus on your handstand tempo, which is really, really important. So right here, I'm not really going within the handstand tempo guidelines because I'm holding my handstand a little bit longer, but our handstand tempo is one, two, split, three, four. So first leg is one, second leg is two, and then I split, step down, three, four. When you're ready, go ahead and try doing your handstand. So start in a lunge. Keep in mind all of the drills you just did and everything you just worked on. And yeah, let's try again and focus on handstand tempo. So first lunge, kick up, one, two, split, three, four, lunge. Notice that I'm reaching in front of me. One, two, split, three, four. That one was a little off. And then one more. One, two, split, three, four, lunge. Good job. So that's it for today's video on handstands. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I hope that it was helpful for you. Um, please be sure to check out our Instagram as well as our Facebook and I would love to see you guys working your handstands on our Facebook page. So don't forget to post a video of you working this skill on our Facebook page or any other skill that I've posted skill videos about or any other coach has. Um, but other than that, I miss you guys so much and I can't wait to see you again soon.